Hey, this is Travis Michelson again with Integrity Cleaning Systems. What we're going to be doing today is demoing some dry soil extraction from upholstery and from a mattress. Now, if you're not watching this on my blog, click the link underneath this video so that you can put this whole demonstration in context. This is all about allergies, how we can help prevent allergies and help you breathe easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the dry vacuum over this ottoman and we're going to see just how much soil I pull out and I'll give you an idea of what's in the upholstery that can create allergies. As you can see, we only did about half of just the surface. You can see the amount of soil we pulled out. This is dust, dirt, there's pollen in here. There's all kinds of things in here that can actually create the allergies. Next, we're going to run upstairs and we're going to vacuum out a mattress and show you the exact same thing and what you're sleeping on. Okay, and this is a mattress. And when you clean mattresses, especially when you do it at home, you can just use your vacuum, throw it right up here, and I'll show you exactly how to vacuum it. But it's important to leave the sheet on. If you pull the sheet off, the agitation bar can actually catch on some of the seams of the mattress and damage the mattress. So you want to leave the sheet on when you vacuum it, then pull the sheet off and go ahead and wash it. Again, just a few strokes over the mattress and you get an idea this is what you're sleeping on it's what you're breathing in while you're sleeping at night and this is why a lot of people wake up in the morning and their allergies are a lot worse than they are throughout the day it's because they're breathing this in all night so read the rest of my blog post find out exactly how you can avoid this and what you can do to help out with your allergies so what we just showed is pulling out a lot of soil and things like that but what we didn't talk about is within that there's also a lot of dead skin layers that we shed while we sleep at night and there's something called a dust mite that lives on those dead skin layers. So what I'm going to do right now is immediately after this video, a new video is going to start. It's actually going to show and talk about the dust mite, which is actually a leading cause to allergies. And one last thing I want to let you know. When I come out to do your professional carpet or tile cleaning, if you request a free soil analysis, I'll run the exact same test on your couch or bedding to see if it's something that you need to have done as well. So I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks. House dust mites are microscopic creatures that live in even the cleanest homes. House dust mites are relatives of spiders. Here is a dust mite magnified on a penny to give you an idea of their actual size. It is the waste particles produced by live mites and the body fragments of dead mites that contain the actual allergy-causing material responsible for house dust allergy. Dust mites are photophobic, living deep in pillows, mattresses, upholstered furniture, carpets, and other soft materials. Literally millions of mites may inhabit a single bed.